We were searching for a game. Now we're joining somebody's session. Hopefully their session's great and everyone comes away satisfied. Man, I wish I had enough cards to have more decks. But I quite like my deck. Three color variation. I've got three gear wanks now. So every game is slightly different. Or even though I, it feels like I never draw anything interesting. Still all about Primal Humbeast. And having my opponents hold all their murders. And be like, well, I can't move this. I, I can't moiter him. I, I gotta moiter, but I can't do any moitering. It's not fair. I gotta, I gotta moiter. I wanna do the moiter. It's just the way my moits. Anyway, this guy paid for a Jace avatar and he's got a blue background. Mr. Quackadax looks like he likes playing the blues. So let's go. Let's get off to a quick start. That's good. This is great. That's great. These aren't great. We'll see what happens. I'm going to keep it. If I have to concede, that's life. Hopefully I get a turn three basic land and then plop this. Yep. He gave away his deck before he started the match by having this stupid avatar. What a waste. Alright. Worst comes to worst, I can play Deathcap Cultivator and he can get twin bolted. Then I can play something else if it doesn't get twin bolts. Twin Boltingtons. If I draw an untapped land, then I'll play the Filigree Familiar anyway. Because this card's perfect. If it gets bolted, great. I'll draw a card, thanks very much. If it doesn't, you could take two to your shoe. What does this do? Hmm, seems weird. Alright, no land. Maybe this is for a burn, an X burn spell. The old twin bolties. Called it. Call the twin bolts. Okay, now. Fingers crossed. Balls crossed. Nips crossed. On tap land. Get in my belly. <laughs> it's a super shame I couldn't have played a Primal Hunt Beast because against control decks, this card is just like, what, what are you going to do? You can't target me. You can't bounce me. Nothing. Nothing. You're just taking punches. But if I can't get it out, useless. Come on. I got two draws for a land and then he's fucked. Nope, that's not a land. Give me a land or I'll cry. I'll cry. Yay! She's done it! <laughs> now let's hope we can ride the beast. Ride the beast to kick in the control man in his bum cheeks. What could I still lose to? I could lose to uh, red sweeps, of course. Um, what is it called? Mm -mm -mm. Radiant Flames, although he's only got two colours, so Radiant Flames will only do two damage. We'll see. We'll have to look. this makes me not understand what his deck is. Come on, make me discard. I don't need any of these bullshits. Discard. Nailed it! We are doing it. Ah, uh, it looks like we lost some great cards, but in reality, I got cards that I actually would prefer to try and win this match. He doesn't have any um, rise from the grave bullshits. Obviously, this would have been good. This was an answer, and that was fine. But it's just land. If I didn't draw a land the next turn, which I don't think I would have, I think I would have drawn a hunt beast the next turn. Ah, he's dead. If that's his plan, he's just going to get hunt beasted. Hunt beastie boys to death. Oh, I'm going to be arrogant. I'm going to say we're going to win this. Ah, oh, man, I do love beating a Sphinx's Chuty Chute deck. Mainly because I just think they're so obnoxious to be playing on Magic Jewels. Where was this supposed to be an introduction into magic? And you're and somebody's like, Nee! I wanna spend forty five minutes per game 
just making everyone discard because it's so fun. It's so fun to say a play a land go and then uh, a counter your spell and then make you put two cards in your in your grave and then I'll draw three cards and then everyone will take a shit. All right, assuming he doesn't draw a huge blocker, he's got one turn. I got thirty five cards in my deck. I've got nothing that can be slowed down. Oh, he's pumped with it. He's got tons of land. Nah, that's not that's not bad for me, really. I'll activate this a bit more. I'm not going to kill it because it can't put anything back in my hand. If I draw a twin bolt, then I win on the spot, I think. Yeah, all oh, this seems, still seems fine. There's one twin bolt gone. There's two. There's three. So one left. That's not great. Now I think I might blast Jace's ass cheeks out. Because it doesn't slow me down at all. <sighs> Losing so many twin bolts is what made me decide to kick Jace. I just don't think I'll, I don't have any other direct uh, burn spells apart from my Baltees. Let's see what we lose this time. A couple of lands. That's useful. Don't need no more of those. We did it! Too bad you got fucking shitties. One fifteen. All right, let's open a pack and then have another game, and then have some lunch. Uh, I'll still open Kaladesh because it's so cheap. Although I'm running out of good cards to pick up, I got a Sahili Rai, I got a Bristling Ball Bag. Yeah, I think I've got too many good cards from Kaladesh. I think the remaining seventy percent. Oh shit! Yeah, bollocks. I'm just gonna play another game. And open origins and hope I can find that language. Waiting for players to join the match. This is what you need if you're a serious player. I don't know what this guy's deck is going to be. That last guy had a feeling it would be blue because he had paid all his cash for his blue Jace. This dude, he made a deck and then just submitted it immediately, like me. Because we're both super smarty pants. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'll keep this. I'll keep it mainly because it's got a nice starting hand, land hand. If I play this on turn 5 in a vacuum, pump itself up, and it gets immediately killed, I've still got a Grave Digger. Renegade Map, the most confusing card in the world to me. I, th I think it's bullshit. But so many people love it. Maybe that's why I'm bullshit. Because I don't get the value in it. Triggers Revolt. If this guy's playing Revolt, then I'll I'll shut my mouth. But too often people just play it and think it's a good way to just fix their mana when it isn't. Just play Evolving Wilds. <laughs> bullshit. Well, he's playing the Revolt Colors, so maybe he's playing... Oh, this isn't good. <sighs> I need him to play something really good for two mana that I can bolt. And then... Alright, that's okay. 
no point wasting my potatoes. Or maybe he's trying to fill his graveyard with delirium enablers. So I shouldn't criticize too much. Alright, so I've got unlicensed disintegration, if it's anything fantastic. Hopefully, I'll draw a land and get my Gear Hulk out. Ah, actually, I think I'll play Meteor right now that he's played a creature. Well, don't need to, don't need to decide. Let's do pay five to transform that. I'll block if he attacks. Wasting an entire turn to get a creature I can still murder is pretty shit. Oh no, I can't block it. Oh no, I can block it. This is weird. That card is bollocks. <laughs> what a waste. Okay, good. I'm going to play Gear Hulk. He's got a lot of stuff that could get rid of it, obviously, but Grave Digger, Unlicensed Disintegration. If he can't get rid of it, then happy days. What rank is he? Seven. What rank am I? Ten. Drag under, it's not a good answer. I mean, cost me a turn, cost him a turn. Fatal push, is that going to work? It is going to work. Um, oh, I'm just going to fatal push this. Ah, should have played Meteorite and then Fatal Push. Whoopsie doodles! Schmoopsie schmoodles! Alright, this is a troubly troublesomes. I'll kill the land as it attacks, which is always nice. Then I'll play Gear Hulk, and hopefully it'll just be too big. Oh no, my f land's tapped. This is just Balbini City. Alright, there's nothing to do except do this. Miss Ness is pretty good. Ah, bollocks. Indeed. Boo-boo-boo. Beep-beep-beep.